This is Krishna Day of bizgrowthnews.com and I'm just catching up at the end of the Organise, Activate and Influence conference that was held in Dublin in October 2008 and the keynote address was Zach Exley and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to catch up with you Zach because you've been doing a bit of a whistle-stop tour from North America <laughs> over to Germany and now here in Ireland and you were talking to us about and, and encouraging us to think about how we could get involved as citizens in terms of changing the face of what's happening in our own countries. And you gave a lot of great case studies there in terms of from elections in the US. From your trip, what's the thing that you actually could pull together that you think we have perhaps in common across the nations that you've been visiting recently? Oh, well, I mean, I just made a short uh, stop for some some meetings in Germany on the way here, but I think I mean I think the whole I think the whole world is kind of dealing with this same every country is dealing with the same problem right now where um, the kind of problems that are coming up that we're facing with this economic collapse and with climate change uh, and and so many other issues the it, it seems like the major political parties whether left or right they don't it's been a while since they've had to think this big. And so there's a certain kind of lack of um, decisive, big, big, big solutions um, that could get us out of these messes that we're in. And and I think that I think people are kind of waking up to that. Um, it's becoming painfully obvious. Um, you know, certainly in the U.S. with this uh, uh, financial crisis, um, with both parties. Uh, you know, basically not coming up with any kind of plan that made any sense to the American people, really. You know, this the, the, the plan they followed was, um, you know, to, to buy investments from, uh, you know, rich investors. I mean, even if that's not exactly what the bailout plan was, that's how the American people understand it. And it's, um, so that's one example. And, uh, and I, th I think that, so our, our parties are grappling, you know, with, this new world, their peoples are looking at them, not coming up with really big sweeping solutions. And so I think that there's, uh, th there's a moment here, I mean, here at this event, we had, you know, half the Irish political blogosphere in one room, it seemed like, and um, I, it was very exciting, you know, to sort of see this group of people uh, raising up a new media that's not the mainstream media, not the corporate owned media, um, not the state media, but something controlled by actual people who can say what they want and and I, I sort of I felt like at this event and I, I, I feel this um, in the states and 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 felt it in Germany as well where you know you have this group of people and they're kind of it's just starting it's just starting to dawn on them that that they're the ones that are going to have to come up with solutions to these huge crises that are coming up uh, and that that's a scary thing and I think you know, bloggers all around the world, um, you know, leaders of kind of independent NGOs, uh, these kinds of folks are, are realizing that they can't wait for their parties, for political parties, uh, to come up with solutions because they're just not doing it. Um, and so people are realizing the responsibility is falling on them. And I, I sort of, I felt that, felt that happening in this room and um, I think that's happening all over the world. That's well, thank you for facilitating and encouraging, encouraging us to think in that way because, you know, our future is not just about being in the hands of some leaders in different nations, but in fact we can make change and there's lots of things we can look back in history to see where humble citizens have made dramatic changes in terms of the state of the nations that we're in and in fact the, you know, the global economy in fact. So thank you for encouraging us. I guess the question for us all as we finish off the conference today is, are we ready to pick up the baton? Are we ready to do anything with the things that all of our speakers today have encouraged us to think about? Zach, how can people get in contact with you if they wish to do so? What's your website domain? Uh, well, um, they can, um, uh, they can, well, I'm, I'm writing a blog now um, that's kind of a, a very, um, it's a one topic blog. It's uh, called revolutioninjesusland.com, and it's about this very interesting movement that is happening in the U.S. Um, it's sort of centered around the Midwest and the South, and I, I live in the Midwest. Uh, and so go there, revolutioninjesusland.com, um, check it out, and you can email me there. 
Thanks so much and have a safe trip home. This is Krishna Day of beersgrowthnews.com. <laughs>